I'm going to be going over in this video how to change the distributor cap and distributor rotor in a 1980 to 1996 Ford F-150 with a 5.0 liter or a 302 V8. On the Ford V8s, here's a picture right here of the piston layout. This is the front of the engine, distributor sitting in the front. This would be the passenger side of the vehicle and the driver side of the vehicle. The cylinder numbers is one, two, three, four. Going back on the passenger side, then five, six, seven, eight on the driver's side. If you have a 5.0 liter that's from 1993 back, then the firing order is going to be, let's see, for 93 and earlier, it's going to be one, five, four, two, six, three, seven, eight. And then if you have a 94 to a 96, it will be 13726548. Most of your new distributor caps is going to have the number one post mark. So that'll be your starting point. And I have a 1996, so mine will be 13726548. And if you had a 93 back, it would be the 15426378. You get your new parts, just visually inspect them, make sure there's no defects in them that you can see. Look up under the distributor cap, make sure all them little terminal posts are there and clean. And then the center coil post is, has, is a little spring action. When putting the new rotor in, this little part right here fits in a little slot. You don't have to worry about putting this in the wrong place. You just put it just like the way the old one came off and it's only going to go on there one way. Before you put the new cap on, use some dielectric silicone grease and put just, just a tiny little bit on each post. This will keep it from corroding and getting moisture in there to cause corrosion. Some people say to use petroleum jelly or Vaseline, but try not to use that because the petroleum base, it would damage the rubber of the spark plug boots and the rubber on the insulation of the wires. This is silicone base, so it's going to be safe for the rubbers on the wires. Just take a little bit on your finger. Just put it just a little bit. It don't take much. On your distributor, it's just a couple clips that holds the cap on. Just snap each side off. This one over here is a little tighter fit to get to. Gotta kind of squeeze your fingers up in there. Leave the wires on it for now. Go ahead and slide your hand in there. Lift up on the old rotor. Go ahead and put your other rotor in place. Make sure it's seated all the way. If it's seated all the way, you shouldn't be able to turn it around any. It should be stationary. Wire first. If the distributor cap isn't marked, which I can't see a mark on mine, go to your number one cylinder over on the passenger side. Follow that wire back and then pull that one off. And what I'm going to do is I take one off, I'm going to put it on the new cap, going counterclockwise. So I start at one and go so forth. That's about the easiest way you can do it. If you can't get it in there, then you, when you take all the wires off of the old distributor cap, you just trace back to each cylinder and put them in the correct firing order. Take this intake tube off right here so I got a little more room to get to it. You want to set this cap back on there. The way it came off. Cap is only going to go on one way. 
there's a little notch right here that fits in this channel and if it's turned around 180 degrees the the clamps will line up but this it, this little notch won't so that helps keep you from putting it on backwards if you're trying to adjust the cap to get it to turn around here sometimes you may have to take a wire off reroute it a little bit to get them all to fit back to where they'll reach get the wire in the center that goes to the coil make sure after you put them all on there make sure they're all snapped down good and go ahead and lock the cap in place with these tabs and once it's snapped down make sure it's tight and secure and I'll go back over these again make sure they're all pushed down and have clicked in and then I'm going to put this intake tube back on. You can see on the inside of my old distributor cap how these posts have a lot of corrosion on them and a lot of wear. It has been needing this changed. Ford recommends changing the distributor cap, the rotor, and the spark plug wires every 30,000 miles or 30 months. If you crank it up and you notice any skipping or anything, go back, check your wiring in the fire order, make sure you have all the wires in the right place. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel.